Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, and we have our 1970 Mercury Marquise up on the rack. So this is a uh, pre-detail, pre-buff on the paint, interior, etc. So just a little bit of mud uh, from the drive-in. But this is a really good angle to start out, even though it's pre-detail. Just kind of let you know how things are on the underside, how things look from curb level. And it's always good to start with mechanicals and then go on to the body. I'm gonna do a full paint meter video of this. It's definitely impressive. Uh, it's original paint all the way through. So obviously no Carfax available for 1970, but that paint meter showing the original paint just lets you know a, that there's not rust that's been covered up by a quick Bondo, no accidents, etc. So true survivor, original paint, chrome works in great shape. We'll talk more about the history of the vehicle uh, on the top side video, but it's always been in dry climates and it certainly shows. A little ding right there, be aware of that. That's gonna be hard to see when it's on the ground, which is a good thing, but it does exist. The rest of the moldings are all in good shape, trim, etc. And the rocker panels are excellent. So as I said, dry climate. This is a rust-free rig through and through. It's never seen any undercoating, so you will see some of that patina but uh, you would not consider that rust. You can see how clean those welds are. No swelling whatsoever on any of those welds, just as crisp and clear as the day it left the factory. Those cross members are in great shape. Going down the rocker on the passenger side as well. Showing that, we'll just kind of start from the back and go forward. So good exhaust system. There's one ding on the muffler, but there's no cracks, creases, or, or leaks out of that. Again, a little bit of dirt. This is just the way it rolled in, so you get to see it as I'm seeing it. But really solid, no signs of work. We do have rear coils, airbags, and shocks. Factory strut there, stabilizer. Drum brakes in the rear, and these were optioned with uh, the front disc. This one with the large engine choice, the 460 would make sense that those optional discs, uh, power discs, did go up front. But the rear uh, drums are in good shape. No leaks from the brake reservoir in there, so everything's solid and sound. Rear diff looking good. E-brake lines, massive drive line, and so, Fairly new on the on the exhaust, good bends. And speaking of bend, there's one crush there. I don't know, there's no scrapes or anything else. Looks like it was a road hazard. I'm guessing like a slight improper lift. I don't know how a mechanic could miss it that far, but I just don't see any scrapes on the underside to really explain that. So I think that was possible, just a lift issue. But good bends. Good fasteners all the way throughout the rear axle. So solid exhaust system. Floor pans, no surprise. Sorry, juggling things around here. Um, no cutouts, no cover ups. Just original metal hair. That's a C6 transmission. There's your discs up front. 
well greased. Ends there. Coilovers up front. And just more of the same. You see some patina, but really crisp lines on any welds, no, no rust or corrosion. So solid, solid rig here up in those fender wells. So after the detail, we'll do the uh, uh, walk around top side video, but there is a look on the underside of this uh, Mercury. Gorgeous car, fun to drive, convertible to boot. I'm Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. You can contact me to learn more about this uh, Mercury at 208-721-1973. Thanks for watching.